Here's everything we know about Burke so far. Hey, what is up guys? My name is Martin and welcome to 2K Central. So we still can't use new gameplay due to copyright issues. Damn you IGN, so I decided to do some uh, character related videos. So as we all know, we have multiple allies in Mafia 3. These are known as our lieutenants. So I'm going to give extra information on each character, uh, their history with Sal Marcano and why they have chosen to side with Lincoln in this uneasy alliance. So today's video is centered around Burke. Here are six things you might not know about him. Number one, he's Irish. Okay, let's start with the obvious. Burke is the leader of an Irish gang who have already established themselves within New Orleans. Uh, he's one of three allies for Lincoln in Mafia 3. How strong of an ally is based on our in-game choices. Um, if we place Burke on multiple territories and give him more power, our relationship becomes more positive. And that also means that there will most likely be more Irish people running around. So, you have been warned. Um, if we don't side with Burke at all, his relationship with Lincoln will reach a tipping point in which betrayal is an option. 2. Burke, like everyone else Lincoln is allied with, hates the Italian Mafia. Uh, he despises the fact that they have major control of the city's resources and he in particular has been forced to occupy a very small area of the city at the beginning of the game. Uh, so his reasons for joining Lincoln are kind of clear. He's just a little too small and doesn't have enough firepower or muscle to make an impact on his own. So whenever the option of an alliance to take down Sal Marcano and the Italian Mafia arises, he kind of jumps at that opportunity. 3. He has history with the primary antagonist. Alright, so Sal Marcano, who is the leader of the Marcano family, the Italian Mafia who currently run the city, in the past, Sal has sent multiple messages to Burke. Uh, Burke and his men had attempted to take territory, and the Irish mob had become somewhat of a thorn in their side. They were never really a threat to the Italian Mafia's criminal empire, but they were just kind of annoying, like most Irish people. So, uh, Sal, uh, so Sal's men paid him a visit, and they actually broke Burke's kneecaps and left him for dead. So this will obviously add extra fuel to his hatred for the Italian Mafia, and this experience also gives him something in common with our main protagonist, Lincoln. They were both left for dead by the same man who sounds like a nice guy. Four, he is hot-tempered and aggressive. Burke is the rashest or most aggressive out of the three lieutenants. Uh, due to his history with Sal, he's become somewhat reckless. He's been described by Hayden Blackman, the creative lead from Mafia 3, as, yeah, Burke, he's just pissed off all the time and wants to strike back at the mob. So Burke has arranged multiple attacks against the Marcano family in the past, which have all failed, which gives you a hint towards his tactics as a lieutenant. He is the most impatient and most direct out of the three. So you might want to keep him on a short leash. I could totally see him making his own decisions behind Lincoln's back if things aren't going his way. So somehow Burke has a major link with the local police. If you choose to place him on territories, you gain the ability to call him and he then removes your current wanted level. So this ability is a hint that his connection with the police will feature in the story of Mafia 3. I doubt it's just a special ability for no reason. And if he's on our good side, using the police to our advantage can be very effective. But if we piss him off enough, he could possibly do the most damage to us. Um, in theory, he could take down Lincoln's whole operation with a single phone call by calling a source within the police and ratting out Lincoln. So it may be smart to stay on his good side if you can. And I'm not just saying that because I'm Irish and I support my fellow Irishmen. I'm not, okay? All right, six. And finally, Burke controls or is the owner of a local scrapyard. So stealing valuable cars for Burke and his local business could definitely be an option for a series of side quests. And I assume they'll be similar to Mafia 2, no major impact on the story, but a quick way to make money in the game. And one last thing I wanted to touch on, I've seen a few people claiming Burke is indeed Joe, and the only evidence is because of his choice of clothing. I agree they have similar shirts, but no way is that Joe. For one, it doesn't look a thing like him, and two, why would Hangar 13 reveal Joe in the first trailer? I just think people see Joe everywhere and want him to be alive at this point, which I feel you. And yeah, that's all the information I have on my fellow Irishman Burke currently. I hope this was beneficial and you learned a little about what Burke will be like as a character. As a summary, Burke is a hot-headed Irishman. So what's not to love, am I right? Now I will do this with almost every character in the game when there's enough information. So Vito and Lincoln will be next on the list. I would love to do a video on Cassandra and Sal Marcano, but 
honestly there really isn't enough information to make a worthwhile video on those two currently so hopefully within the next few weeks we get a little more info on her and Sal and just more gameplay in general but yeah we've come to the conclusion of this video guys let us know what you think of Burke and as always thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more mafia related videos here on 2k central bye bye Is Walking down the street and you hear that heavy beat Can't help but walk your feet